Hello crafty friends and welcome to another clean and simple card making video. Today I've got another alphabet die idea for you. If you haven't seen it, I published, was it yesterday, a my top 10 ways of using alphabet dies on clean and simple cards video. I'll leave a link to that in the video description, but in today's video I've got an 11th way for you, and that is to use alphabet dies to make stencils. So I've got my tiniest alphabet die set here and I've got four sticky notes that I flipped sticky side up and I'm just arranging my dies cutting side up onto the sticky surface and this is just going to keep all my dies together and stop them getting lost because there's nothing worse than having an alphabet die set and having a critical letter missing. But anyway, I've got all of these stuck down in a fairly random arrangement. I'm going to flip over my sticky notes onto a piece of smooth white cardstock and then run it through my cuttle bug. And now I'm going to peel off the sticky notes with the dies and shake out all the die cuts, put them to one side for possible later use. And now I have got a cardstock stencil that I can use on my card. Obviously, you don't have to make a stencil with a random arrangement of letters. You could spell out some words. You could do it in all one letter. Say you are making a birthday card for someone whose name begins with the letter B. You could just do lots of different Bs. You can have them in straight lines, straight columns. Arrange them however you want. I just went for a random arrangement because I wanted my stenciling to be background stenciling. And that's what I'm doing now. I've taken speckled egg distress oxide and tumbled glass distress oxide and lightly stenciled them on the top half of a panel made of smooth white cardstock. I did the speckled egg first, then I shifted the stencil around a bit and then did some tumbled glass. And this is just to create some background texture somewhere for my focal point to sit and to create a little bit of interest behind my focal point. For my focal point I decided to use a world globe die and I cut that from gold foiled cardstock. I then took the speckled egg which is a bluey green and the tumble glass which is blue and blended them onto a little bit of cardstock because I wanted to create some bluey greeny bits to inlay into my globe so it looks like a globe, the planet Earth, the blue green planet that we live on. Once I was happy with my blending, I dipped my globe into some glue and stuck it down onto another piece of smooth white cardstock to back my die cut. And then I used my detail scissors to cut around it so that it was not visible around the edge of the globe part. I then die cut another globe from the bluey greeny paper using the die and then set about inlaying the bluey greeny bits into my gold globe. This was very easy, it didn't take too long at all. So how do you feel about paper piecing like this? Is it something you enjoy? Do you enjoy doing things like this, like jigsaw puzzles? Or is it something you avoid like the plague? I don't mind it, I find it quite satisfying, but I wouldn't wanna do a lot of it. So let me know how you feel about it in the comments. So I wanted something to sit behind my globe over the stenciling and I chose a label die and cut a label out of smooth white cardstock. I toyed with the idea of keeping it white and plain but it really didn't do much so I ran it through an embossing folder that had a cog pattern on it which I thought went well kind of with the letters and with the globe it gives the kind of I guess engineering-y entrepreneurial inventor professor -y feel I think that's what was going through my mind as I was doing it and to bring out the embossing I went over it with a bit of speckled egg and I swiped it across the tumbled glass ink pad 
and it still wasn't quite doing what I wanted it to do. So my daughter suggested I get my gilding wax and go over it in gold and I thought, why didn't I think of that? Because that's exactly what it needs. So that's what I did. I went over it lightly with my gold gilding wax. I then buffed it off with a dry paper towel to get rid of the excess and to shine up what was there. And then I glued my decorated, embossed, gilded label to my panel over the stenciling. Next I glued my globe down to the left hand side because I thought if I put the globe on the left that will leave me some space on the right for a sentiment. For my sentiment I chose a grungy label stamp that has the word discover on it. I chose this one partly because of the label shape, partly because it's grungy like my distressed label that I created and partly because of the word discover. I felt that the whole vibe of the card would work well maybe for someone going off to university or going on an adventure or pursuing some sort of related career and I decided to do this in gold to match the gold of the globe and I heat embossed that and that was my usual process of dusting my paper with corn flour, stamping in embossing ink, dipping it into my gold embossing powder and then heating it with my heat tool. When I came to stick the label down I wanted to overlap the globe a bit so I popped a couple of bits of card under the right hand side of the label just to keep it level. And that was it. I didn't add anything else. No Nouveau drops, no homemade enamel dots or anything. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So I do hope you've enjoyed the video and it's given you another idea of something you can do with the alphabet dies you already have in your stash. If it has, please do leave a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments and I will see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.